In this tutorial video, we're going to take a look at custom variables and attributes. Um, so what I've done is uh, already set up a test bot using the attribute template. And if you want to do that yourself, you just go to my bots, create bot, attribute bot, bot for testing attributes. Give it a logo. And then what we'll do is start with template and go down to custom attribute bot. And if we hit create, we'll go to that bot. And now we see on our welcome statement, we have some other stuff here. We have the next that we learned about in one of the other videos. And it Basically, this first one after saying hello, it'll go to extract email. And if we go here, we see that the bot asks uh, the person to type in their email. And if we go to connections, we see if the response to this interaction doesn't contain the at symbol, then go to invalid email. And here we basically say that doesn't seem to be valid. Please try again. Otherwise, we go to this one. Thank you. Now let's define the email you entered as a custom attribute. And this is where we define the custom attribute. And here we're just saying a uh, custom variable. So here we're saying custom variable. We want it to be called email. And we want it to be equal to the response to interaction 1276712, which is where they type in their email. And if you want to get this yourself, all you do is go up here to custom variables, set value, and you can see that uh, you can call the key whatever you want, information to collect, and the value you would put as uh, a response to whatever interaction where they typed in their email. And then you also have a fallback, which can be something like, sorry, please try again if that messes up. Now, if we go to connections, we see that this then goes to use custom attribute and basically the bot is just printing out using sh show variable and it wants to show what the person typed in back at the extract email and then we go to the next part assuming that's correct this step uh, revalues the att attribute email you won't see this, but click OK to advance to sending this data as a webhook. Now, this is the important part we want to do here. We want to set attribute email equals the variable we just created, which is email. And then in the next step, it actually sends the webhook, which if we look down here, webhooks attributes, it's grabbing uh, our new, new one called email. And then it goes all done. So let's test this and see how it works. Hi there, I'm a test bot. I'm using blah, blah, blah. Click ready and we'll move, uh, move to extract an email. Click ready. Please type your email. Email at email.com. Thank you. Type OK. And then it prints back the email that we typed, the person typed in earlier. And we type great. The step revalues the attribute email, blah, blah, blah. Click OK. And basically now that information is stored that you can uh, use it later. And that's basically all there is to it.